You've heard about it. Is it real? Are people losing hair from COVID? Well, let's find out. COVID-related hair loss, 100%, without a shadow of a doubt, is real. Ironically, it is for those people who have actually experienced the hair loss from COVID-19, and there are people who are experiencing indirectly hair loss due to COVID-19 because of the lockdowns and stress associated with a lifestyle change and the dramatic change in so many people's routine. So let's first talk about the direct impact. So COVID-19 has a very powerful impact on blood clotting, uh, on respiratory, on amount of oxygen that your body is basically getting on a regular basis uh, during that time. So there's a tremendous amount of restriction of oxygen to your cells. Additionally, it is gonna have a tremendous nutrient draw and just trauma on your body, which ultimately is going to lead to ancillary effects. And in this case, one of those effects is hair loss. And why it happens is typically 90 to 120 days after the peak of the onset of the actual trauma from COVID, you end up seeing a telogen effluvium shed. Now, telogen effluvium is a trauma-based hair loss, and it happens for a variety of different stressful reasons, but in this case, that is the reason why COVID-19 directly causes hair loss in those patients who have had really intense symptoms. So typically, telogen effluvium will begin to show signs of shedding 90 days after, or in some cases up to 120 days after the peak of the trauma. And then you will have between 25 and 33% of your hair shifting into the resting phase simultaneously, which means you are losing a ton of hair because typically, 10% of your hair is resting at any given point. So you will have just a, a tremendous amount of shedding very, very quickly. Now, there are a lot of things that you can do to try to slow that down and stop it. Naturally, it will usually stop within 12 to 18 months without any stimulus. Uh, and in some cases, even earlier than that, if you're in a very healthy condition, but you do need to stop the entire shedding process and then obviously have that hair grow back, which again will occur naturally on its own unless you have androgenetic alopecia, unless you have underlying inflammatory issues or nutritional issues. So let's make sure that you are in peak condition to get that back. The peak condition to not only stop the actual telogen effluvium, but resurrect as much hair as humanly possible, first is to have an optimal amount of nutrition in your blood. The key nutrients that you must focus on are iron, ferritin, zinc, folate, and vitamin D3. Now with COVID, people are focused on vitamin D3, so typically you need to get your vitamin D3 up. The average person is deficient in vitamin D3, so usually taking 5,000 units of vitamin D3 per day is good to get your vitamin D up based on what you started at. But you wanna do that and make sure you're monitoring it so that you're in the optimal range. But you also wanna make sure that you're getting those other nutrients that I mentioned, like ferritin, and you're getting your uh, zinc levels up. So Shape Magazine actually did an article on COVID-related hair loss where I was featured and two of the products uh, from Advanced Trichology were featured, one of which was the follow growth vitamin. The follow growth vitamin actually has a plethora of all the things that we just mentioned in the vitamin itself and has been recommended for COVID-related hair loss. So also get some blood tests to make sure that again, the other nutrients that I mentioned are in optimal range. If they're not, then you isolate and make sure that you're getting enough of those in other areas of your uh, diet. Additionally, you want to make sure that you are going to cover your topical bases with telogen effluvium. So Shape Magazine also featured the Nutra M topical solution, which is active ingredient is melatonin. Now there's a tremendous amount of data coming out of Europe as well as Southeastern Asia about how topical melatonin is very powerful at 
people stopping hair loss from androgenetic alopecia and in my experience I have seen a lot of benefit when using it for telogen effluvium which obviously in this case is directly related to COVID-19. So using these items to slow or stop the telogen effluvium can be extremely advantageous uh, and again I am going to have a link in the description below to, so that you can read the Shape Magazine article and obviously see for yourself. Additionally, the idea of COVID related hair loss doesn't just land with somebody who actually has COVID and then had a physical reaction to it. Ironically, people are actually experiencing COVID related hair loss from the lockdowns. So it's an indirect relationship, but people are being locked down and their entire lifestyle changed. Uh, oftentimes their routine, their diet, they've lost loved ones, the stress of losing a job. These indirect reasons for this pandemic are leaving people losing hair for the exact same reason. They're still losing hair due to telogen effluvium because they're having an emotional trauma rather than a physical one. And these are are real. I do uh, Friday phone consults and when the people that I'm speaking with on the phone, there is a mass number of individuals who started losing hair in a very dramatic way in June and July of 2020 because they were locked down in March or April and it took 90 to 120 days and they just started dumping hair. And again, almost 90% of the time I'm recommending again Nutra M follow growth in some cases uh, for very dramatic scenarios then we'll be even using something like low level laser therapy to treat it uh, but additionally you've got to make sure that if there's an underlying condition like some sort of inflammatory scenario uh, like a scalp condition so there's itching or burning that that's resolved or if you're dealing with a male or female pattern hair loss so you've also resolved that in association with uh, the telogen effluvium so I hope that really really helped in understanding what's really going on with telogen effluvium and with COVID related hair loss. There's also a link in the description below to a video about telogen effluvium exclusively and obviously the other reasons that it happens. But I hope that this really gave you value. If it did, please go ahead and hit the like button as well as subscribe to this channel for many more videos uh, that are coming out about very unique types of hair loss and trichology and what's happening in the world uh, to improve obviously your hair growth and know that I am invested in your hair growth situation and I'm happy to help in any way.